at Honeysuckle Hill Farm in Springfield, Tennessee. We are a pumpkin patch and corn maze, and we have way more here to do than just those two things. We have jumping pillows, kitty zip lines, a farmer's market, a sweet shop where we sell the best fudge ever. So it's, it's a place for families to come each year and make memories. They come year after year. We've been doing this for 15 years now, and we've got people that are still come 15 years later. There's a lot of honeysuckle around here and we're obviously up on top of a hill. Um, so it's just Honeysuckle Hill Farm, that's just who we are. people from other countries come here. We've had people from Canada, from Australia, so I don't know if they came here just to see us, but they did visit us while they were here. It started off in the front, just the front yard pretty much. Farmer Jeff left his job as an accountant because this was his passion. He started off doing it just for his friends and church group, and one of his buddies told him he just needed to start a pumpkin patch, so that's what he did. start planting our corn maze in early spring we come up with what we want to plant in it like um, this year we put Charles Esten in it and so we had to get with CMT and with him then the next step is getting in May with our designer and getting a layout of what we want it to look like and then we plant it usually the last week of June first week of July and once about Two weeks after we plant it, we go through and we cut our image. The guy has a, a GPS thing on over his head and we, he follows, um, he's followed by a lawnmower and he cuts the corn in the image that we have our corn maze in. So we have our pumpkin hopper and corn popper. They're the jumping pillows. You'll see the pumpkin hopper's orange and the corn popper is yellow. And it's like a big trampoline. It's like a big pillow. We call them our jumping pillows. We just inflate them and kids, I mean, that's the number one attraction here on the farm. All kids love the jumping pillows. We have adult zip lines here. Um, they're 40 foot towers and we zip line off of those. We have the kitty zip lines too, um, because our adult zip lines, you have to weigh at least 70 pounds to do those. So we have zip lines for little kids too. We have a nighttime attraction here also. We have a haunted woods and a monster midway. So we have a, something for all ages. Every Friday and Saturday, um, it starts about 6.37 ish, about dark, and it's through the month of October. The farm is open till 10 p.m. And uh, we sell our last ticket at 11 for our haunted woods. The haunted woods stays open later. But we have attractions that we're able to run at nighttime because we've put lights up, big lights. So the jumping pillows run at night, the kitty zip line, slide mountain, the ball zone, the tractor playground all run at night. We have kids that come here. Um, one of the things we do is educational farm tours. Um, we do those throughout the week. And a lot of these are inner city kids that don't know that milk comes from cows or that pumpkins are grown and that it didn't just come from Kroger's. So we teach them that when they come here. Um, we, they go through the corn and they see it growing on the corn stalks and they don't know that it doesn't come in a can. So we try to, we try to teach them where their food comes from. We have some schools that have been coming here since year one. Um, we also have some that this was their first year. We send out pamphlets letting people know about us and then it's word of mouth. Some come every year though. We probably see about five or 6,000 in the spring little kids. And then we'll see between close to 10,000 in the fall. Um, they, they wanna come here to the pumpkin patch and get their pumpkins. For our spring tours, we're open through April and May. Um, we teach kids about honeybees, it's a lot of it. We teach them about um, the animals that we have here on the farm. A lot of them have never been able to touch a donkey before and they get to do that here. Um, a lot of times we'll have baby animals that they'll get to see and touch and play with. So it's um, a lot of, of course a lot of the spring stuff is teaching about honeybees and the importance of them because nothing grows unless you have honeybees. 
in our petting farm, we have um, different animals such as donkeys, goats, sheep, rabbits, pigs, and I think that's it. Um, but the kids come here and they love it. Um, they get, our animals are very friendly, so they come up to the fence and they want you to pet them or feed them. We have feed out there for sale. Um, so they'll come right up to you and love on you. And a lot of kids, it's their first time ever getting to touch a goat or a sheep. We do a lot with social media. So we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, and then we just did a brand new website. And so it has a lot of good information on there. We use Facebook more than anything probably. I think it's a tool that we use to connect with people. Um, we obviously use social media a lot um, as far as marketing wise. Um, to reach people that otherwise may not know about us, but a lot of it's word of mouth. Um, people go around and they just tell their friends, yeah, we went to Honeysuckle Hill Farm, and they post pictures. That's a lot of it. They post pictures and they tag us in it. I actually left a job I had been at for 10 years to come here. And um, it's when you sit down, squat down, and you talk to some little kids, and they're had the best day, and they come up and they give you the biggest hug in the world because They've had so much fun. That's what makes it special.